Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I'm back on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified SMP server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Looking at Spawn Valley, we've got a lot of neat stuff going on around here, but we're not concerned with that today. No, today is another server how-to, the series where I showcase how to use community builds that I've done, and you can hear Skype going in the background. I've also got a little bit of work that I am getting finished up. It's late night, but uh, we've got some stuff to deliver to a customer, and so there's some communication going back and forth about that. So today, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the flower farms that are here at Spawn. And why do we have flower farms at Spawn? Well, Spawn Valley happens to cover a flower forest, and flower forests are where flowers just grow based on the XY value or XZ value or XYZ value and the seed and I'm not entirely sure how all that works. I tried looking at the code to figure it out, but I couldn't make heads or tails of it. Uh, but uh, I do I do want to figure that out eventually, but uh, for now, I just don't know. Suffice it to say, if you bone meal the ground in a flower forest, you're going to get flowers and it's going to be different based on where you bone meal. So. What I've done is I've built a couple of flower farms around areas that provide different types of flowers. Let's just take a look at the output chest. It's right here at the front. You can see that we get azure bluet, poppies, allium, and red tulips out of this one. And if we go over to this one here, it's almost an exact replica of that one, just in a different spot. We get red tulips, white tulips, again red tulips, and orange tulips. And seeds also come out of both of them. If you really need that many seeds, feel free to grab them from there. But the way this works, it's pretty simple. You just press that lever, or uh, turn the lever. And you can see that you'll a little bit of grass will grow, and then flowers, and then some water will come in and break the grass and flowers and eventually move it all to the hoppers down here at the bottom. When you're done, you just turn off that lever, and then you can see some stuff still hangs out inside the farm. It's not, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. And so you just come in here, grab what you need, and then head on about your business. So uh, the, the same thing over here, the lever is over on this side. And you might be wondering, how does it do the growing? Well, that is a dispenser that is below this grass, and it has a bunch of bone meal going into it. And you might be thinking, how do I fill it back up when, I'm all, when it seems like it's all done? Well, we've got a chest on the side here that has a bunch of bone meal. Okay, and there's a series of hoppers that take it down into the dispenser below. So if you do happen to run out of bone meal, just chuck some more right here. And same thing, again, we're looking at an exact replica. The bone meal chest is over here. So there you go. If you're wondering where to get bone meal, I've got a skeleton grinder. Confound it has a skeleton grinder. I do believe Anarchy has a skeleton grinder. I'm sure you can find some bone meal somewhere around the server. So. Anyway, for those of you that are not members of Too Crafty, hopefully you've enjoyed this little look at something that's right here at Spawn. And it's even, it's even within the Spawn chunks, I believe. But uh, for those of you that are members of Too Crafty, hopefully those prove useful to you. And if you would like me to build another one, or if you feel like taking one on yourself, that's fine. It doesn't get all of the flowers. Those two don't get all the flowers. We're still missing pink tulips I'm sure or I'm, I'm for certain about that and there might be a couple of others that I'm just not remembering at the moment and of course orchids don't grow in the flower forest that is in the swamp and so I really should put one over at my base but I'm not too concerned about that right now that's uh, that's neither here nor there hopefully you've enjoyed and hopefully this proves useful to my fellow server mates but uh, that's going to be it for now ladies and gentlemen Join me in the next one. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but uh, if you've got any suggestions for things you want to see me showcase how to use, do let me know in the comments below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. But that is going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.